This is Twit. They tried it in Spain, and it didn't work they tried it so hot. In Germany, kind of first, because mm-hmm. you know what that was called? Leitung Zeitschreifen haben. Die Leistungsschutzrecht. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall we play the reggae? <laughs> there is a song. Google News is now making noise that EU. So this, I there, I'm conflating this maybe with the copyright law. I don't well, there's, know. There's, it's two yeah, parts of the same law. It's chapters eleven and thirteen. I see. Right. Article eleven and clauses. 13. Okay, yeah. so Article, Article. thirteen uh, would introduce uh, no, the copyright. The Article eleven is it's Article yeah, eleven would introduce the link tax. Link tax. Yeah. yeah. So the link tax. So news publishers in Spain complained that Google was free riding on their content because in the search results, they would include snippets from the article, not the whole article, right? Yeah. Just snippets. snippets. Yeah. And they said, well, we want, there sh- Google should pay us for the use of those snippets. To which Google replied, fine, see ya, and left Spain, which meant yeah. all of those newspapers drastically lost traffic because you couldn't Google them. Right, Jeff is right. Yeah, could, there was no Google in News. Germany. Yeah, so so in Germany first, they tried to define a snippet. How much was was more than less than a snippet, and they failed. They tried <laughs> to to do all kinds of things in the law. At the end of the day, basically, what happened was in the German law, they said that Google has to have permission to do this, and uh-huh. Google said, "We're we're back." Uh, and so publishers tried to withdraw their permission and not do it. They found after, yep. I think it was two to three weeks, this was a disaster. Yep. They all gave Google permission. In Axel Spain, Springer, Axel I, Springer said they lost 30%, 40% wow. of their traffic. And by the yeah. way, no love lost between Axel Springer and Google. Oh, God, no. Axel Springer started wars against Google. Yeah, they may be the In number Spain, one enemy of Google. they didn't either. allow any permission structure. They just said, you must pay. And that's when Google said, "No, we won't. We can't. We can't. We're, we're sending you traffic. We're sending you people. No, we're not paying for content. It's not like now. I want to not content. I want to. I'm trying to play the, the other side here. Uh, it is their content in the snippet, but it's not like it's the whole article, right? It's just a. Right. In right. fact, Leo, one, one of the things I've seen research on is that because the argument is the snippet is too long. It's too much content. The truth is, what I've seen in research and what I've learned from my own experience is the longer the excerpt the better the link performance. So what you want as the publisher is that somebody clicks that link. Yeah, so right. the thesis is, well, if you put the snippet, they're going to read the story and say, oh, fine, I got it, and not click the link. Which does happen. Yeah, of course. If you see, if you see a headline that says, um, uh, Matthew Ringham grows beard, um, and I don't want to know any more, sorry, Matthew, than that, <laughs> then, yeah, I've, I, I've learned everything I needed to learn. Right. Um, and the headline did that. That's been true forever. It's like well, it's walking back to the newsstand. Is it, is it what you I'm, see a headline, you don't buy is it. Is it what I'm seeing right here? I just searched for Khashoggi. And in this search results for USA yes. Today, there's the headline, and then there's three lines with ellipses. So they're doing some sort of editorializing, right? They're, they're, they're snippeting. It's more than just taking the first three lines of the article. I guess. I don't know. There's no... Go to... Go to... Well, I don't know. Check, click on the here's article. Bright, so, number one, USA Today. Breitbart is number two. No ellipsis, but three lines. Um, and then there's a hashtag news about... Go Kishogi. up to the top, Leo, and click on the news link Yeah. for this story. The very top. I'm, po- I'm pointing to my screen as if you can see it. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Right. So this is the snippets they're talking about. This is about. this yeah. is more. Look how short those are. They're a sentence. Right. If that. Yeah, because they're all ending with the ellipsis because they don't actually get to the period. So, so you get the headlines, instance, you get a little bit of the lead. President Donald Trump acknowledged Tuesday that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman could have known of the murder of a uh, dot, dot, dot. Right. Just and enough so to tell you if this search result is what you're looking for. Yeah, and the truth is, the truth is, the publishers are not as stupid as they seem here. They're not trying to get paid for content. They're just trying to get any way they can to get some of Google's money because right. they lost money by not they offering advertisers a full deal. So they're just they're trying to blackmail Google or Facebook into paying the money because alms for the poor. But um, they have and we no. Should, we should point out. We should point out this has been going on since two thousand and six. Yes. So Belgium, I think, was the first one to complain, um, but then it spread. 
basically throughout Europe. Spain was the first one to to really put the pedal to the floor, I think. Google yanked the entire service. But this is a debate that's been going on for over a decade. So, by the way, I just went to DuckDuckGo in the news section. They do the same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, every search engine every does search that. engine does because the, t the headline is probably not enough to give you an eye and they do it by the way if I search for uh, twit they do the same thing because the headline isn't enough to get <laughs> okay this is why I don't like duck duck go I search for twit and what do I get man trapped in <laughs> wild birds using glue and put them in cages just like Mr. Twit come on that's a relevant result <laughs> um, well, these are ridiculous um why did you do that? Why did I do what? Trap birds with glue? Yeah. I yeah. didn't. No, I'm not Mr. Twit. I'm <laughs> Chief Twit. <laughs> public, you know what look at Leo is if you go to the New York Times Public page, urge, wait a minute, I'm not through. Oh, public okay, urge sorry. to listen for Twit to woo amid concern over Tawny Owl decline. <laughs> you, you did kind of take that word from the birds. Um, I think the bird took it from me, but that's another story. So... Twit feckless hits the fan. Feckless, nice. feckless twit. Feckless twit. Adam Best scolds Representative Scalise. Twit hits the, the fan. Kind of Trump twit. goes nuclear. A Kansas City twit. mom, an online hit after telling off prissy twit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So the excerpts, yes. it's ridiculous to charge money for this. It's ridiculous on, on its face. It's, it's what well, Jeremy Bentham called... Nonsense on stilts. And I mean, it's just a ridiculous that's a good line. Nonsense on stilts. It it doesn't. It's also they have no leverage because Google has all the leverage in this relationship, right? All Google has to do is yeah. what they did to Spain. Well, and Google said you have a choice if you're a publisher. You can include uh, something in your robots.txt file that prevents Google from you indexing go. your site. And they're not doing that. Problem solved. So yeah. So so that is another answer. So nevertheless, uh, this is probably going to become the law, right? This new copyright law. It's headed it rapidly seems, there, yeah. It seems that way, yeah.